That's gone back to my office. The whole works are new in Stonefield. In other words, they know I'm here. Delete it. Signal to delete it. Oh, it's much too late for that, I'm afraid. You don't understand! You don't know the value of the work we're doing here. That is the most frightening thing about you people. You always think you're right. If you want to be cleared... The fraud squad. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Now, what have we got here? Oh, dear. Ah. Ah, it seems like we've got a little bit of a fault in here, doesn't it? No! 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 This is a I 
I was never able to recite a fable that would make the party bright. Sitting at the table, I was never able to become the host's delight. But now you've given me my after-dinner story. I'll just describe you as you are in all Hello. your glory. Hello. You were never lovelier. You were never so fair. Dreams were never lovelier. Pardon me if I... I used to wish real life could be more like the movies. I've changed my mind. Come on in, sit down, have a drink. So what did your boss say? Big round up of the whole mob, eh? My boss? My bloody boss. Network? There's no network. Illicit organization? It was a bit far-fetched. Oh, but sir, I worked for months. I got you evidence of their activities. Oh, it's a bit tenuous. Of course we can get Mr. Thank you. Of course we can get Mr. Free off the hook. But as far as charging anyone as respected as Mr. Coniston, as admired as Mr. Stonefield, you're joking. Anyway, not such a bad thing, old boy. Better elicit information in the hands of responsible businessmen than say political undesirables. Responsible? They murdered people. There's no proof. You better know. Today, I contacted the police. They're going to look into Robert's death again. You'll never nail it on anybody. <coughs> He's right, you know. So, Stonefield will just go on and on and on and on. It was clever the way he pretended to back me up at Lang's party, wasn't it? Don't you ever switch it off? He can't help it. No, nobody can. It's the screen, the magic screen. It's what our century is all about. First of all, we had the movies, and then there was television. And the magic was right there, in the corner of the room. Foreign Wars and Tom and Jerry. And now the computer. And today, everything that is vital to life is in that screen, whether we like it or not. And all our wonders, and our fantasies, too. You can still say that? Even now? Oh, yes. Don't blame the technology. It just runs far ahead of our moral capacity to deal with it. And the poor, beleaguered, humble human beings so easily trampled underfoot. And oh, we do sometimes get the technology right. After all, without it, we couldn't. Years after the event, still be able to cherish and appreciate all that beauty and skill. Oh, sheer fun. We have been asked by Mainstay Computer Cover Limited of Manchester and London to point out that the Mainstay organisation depicted in these programmes was wholly fictional 
and in no way implies any reference to Mainstay Computer Cover Limited.